past. The summer is ended, and we are not saved. We must begin by asking God to break our hearts for the world that he loves. It is time for the church to rise up in prayer or of intercession, join forces to bind the devil, and loose deliverance over the forces of evil that have invaded our land. We have had uh, Sister Mary's call prayer here on Wednesdays for whomsoever will let us come and let us pray together over the needs of our community. There are those that are sick, putting them on the prayer list and then praying over them. It is high time that we come together in prayer for one another. And prayer does work. Amen. It Amen. works. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, it does. It does. Sister Melba, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, and then he will heal. heal. And then what else would he do? Heal. Here and then he would heal our lands. So there's a need for prayer. Hallelujah. Sometimes I wonder if we've got a Jonah spirit. He was told, Jonah was told to go to Nineveh. Where did he go? I can't go there and I can't tell those people nothing. We want to escape. Another, just an escape. Give God a whole lot of excuses. But we're going to be with that excuse. You won't go before him and make a whole lot of excuses. God, that day when you told me to go such and such a place or go this and that, I had something to do. I couldn't go down there. I can't go down there to those people. I can't well. tell them anything. But we're going to be with that excuse. excuse. Because God even told uh, told him to Jonah to go to Nineveh, but he went he turned went somewhere else. But he got in trouble. Got into a fish there three nights, three days, and then sometimes God has to really get us to a point that we're going to say yes to the to the Lord. Hallelujah. He, ne he needs us to cry loud and spare not. Some of us are hiding our lights under a bushel. As we said, but letting our light shine. Jesus went about doing good. There is so much to be done now to compel men and women, boys and girls to come to Jesus. Because he holds the key to salvation. God needs Boldness. Those that are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So many times we sing, you know, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But then it, when it does come for us to stand up and really do what to be doers of the world, we shrink back and then we don't uh, accomplish the, what God has for us. We do not know when these events will occur, but we must always be prepared because they're going to happen quickly. Just like earthquakes in diverse places. We have so many things that are coming upon us from different places. Plagues are coming. Was it H sister the the H1N1 of uh, viruses, all these things that are coming upon us. We don't know what's going to come up next before us. But we have got to be about our Father's business. The Lord Jesus Christ was from eternity a witness to all the counsels of God. Jesus fed the multitude. Then after he fed them, 
what he did, he settled down, and then he shared the word of God with them. Sometimes we might have to feed, take, go out among the people, take food or whatever. But we're sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what he did. He went, he went to the temple, but most of his time was out among the people. The Holy Spirit is called the seven spirits, the perfect spirit of God, in whom there is a diversity of gifts and operations, which I said a while ago, that's love. You have in, within our congregation, congregation here a lot of gifts and operations. The Lord Jesus was. He was a witness to all. And there will be no second chance to change sides. Hmm. There's not going to be no switch your room. You can't jump over on this side. Here we are here. I'm going to jump over on this side. Even now, that's not going to be no switching. you either for it or you're against it. you got to stand. Take a stand. You can't jump over and look over and look over here. The grass is greener over here. I think I'll go over here for a while. Then I'm going to Look over, I think I'll go back on that side. No, it's got to be a stand for Jesus Christ in such a day and a time that, is, that, is, that it is. And because there, and I thought of Sister Bonnie too, um, with her son. And there are those that are drug addicts out right here. They just need to know that Drugs is not the way. And it's not in these rehab centers. A lot of, of course, they are open in the rehab centers. But then it takes some of the people of God to come and take a hand. And, you know, you come in and be a help. Those that have that gift, some of us, those that have been out here, that know what it's all about, gather the men, these boys, Amen. girls, you know, out here. I, I've had a moment of conviction this week. Oh, the Lord brought it all back to me. And this is why this sermon, it came to me this week. Had a young lady, I was on my way to church. Had my Bible in my hand, just walking down the street, going to church. She sat night on, on the top of a little place at one of the um, housing units. And she said, lady, would you pray for me? I said, oh, yes. I'll pray for you. Pray for you. And my Bible, I'll wait church. Just kept right on going. When I got to church, did I think about praying for that young lady? He, the, the Lord convicted me from then on. And from then on, I've taken the time. When somebody asks for prayer, right then. Right then, pray for them. Right where they are. Because that young lady, you know, she was sitting there. She needed it right, right there. there. Yeah. He brought it all back to me this week. There are some hurting people out here. Men and women, boys and girls that need to know about Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. That Jesus cares for you. That is a place you can come in. You can come into the doors here. Hallelujah. Jesus will clean you up. Hallelujah. He'll take every, all those vices, everything. Give them to me. I'll share them. Give them to me. I'll take them. I'll wash all of that. All your sins, everything away. Hallelujah. Oh, he brought this young lady back to me because she was in one of the drug centers. She just sat there like, I don't know what to do. But I had, Lord, forgive me. That was an evil. But I was on my way to church. Hurry to church with my Bible in my hand. And that young lady needed something that time. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God.